Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ta programa tamas prosferon de sepoles gloses para calo medite suprememastertv.com cathedos schedule. We need to get to the root cause. And the root cause is eating too much food, too many drinks that are acidic. So you need to eat alkaline food, which is vegan and alkaline, not acidic. Continue watching to find out more. ¿Cómo está usted? That means how are you in Spanish. The official language of Argentina. Fortunate viewers, my name is Valeria. The people of Argentina wish that you are blessed with a peaceful mind and spiritual awakening. Welcome to our program, John Josefsky, Vegan, Wellness is in our hands, part one of two. Today, it is our privilege to feature excerpts from our interview with John Josefsky. He has been a registered homeopath and living nutrition practitioner for almost 30 years and treated hundreds of people. This gentleman from the UK is a specialist in living nutrition, alkaline health, chronic disease, weight loss, longevity, and mental and emotional health. Additionally, he is an inspiring health coach and the founder and principal of the College of Living Nutrition that offers accredited nutrition courses in London and Birmingham for those interested in training to become a professional nutrition therapist. The institution puts on seminars and residential longevity health retreats as well. In our two-part series, Mr. Josefsky covers more dietary choices we can make to promote our wellness. My name is John Josefsky. My original work, if you like, which I carry on now, is as a practitioner so I see a lot of patients, a lot of clients, and I'm happy to take their case, work out what the root cause is, and then help them get well. That's my job. But then, after doing that for many, many years, I realized that there's a lot of information that I've gathered which is not really known about, about root cause. So at that point, I thought we need a college to train other people to understand what the true nature of disease is and problems that are with health for people. Mr. Josefsky is a proponent of the alkaline vegan diet. This lifestyle features a high intake of fruits, vegetables, and other healthy plant foods while restricting processed junk foods. Advocates of this way of eating say this particular diet helps maintain wellness and repels serious diseases. When things burn and ash residue is left behind, similarly after your system processes them for energy, the foods that you eat leave an ash residue known as metabolic waste. If you eat foods that leave an acidic ash like meat, your body becomes more acidic, and by eating foods that leave an alkaline ash, such as green leafy vegetables, your system becomes more alkaline. Our blood tends typically to be on the slightly alkaline side with a pH between 7.35 and 7.45. Therefore, by choosing more alkaline foods, it means that you may be able to alkalize your body to achieve or maintain the ideal pH level. Followers of the diet say that consuming alkaline-rich vegan foods lowers the chance of kidney stone formation and osteoporosis. Furthermore, they say such nourishment strengthens muscles, betters heart health and brain function, lessens low back pain and reduces one's risk for type 2 diabetes. 
I looked at one of the best selling drugs in the world, billions of pounds, is Nexium. Uh, and that's just one of many, many antacid drugs that you can buy over the counter. Uh, you can get some drugs on prescription, some are over the counter. So there is a big problem, big, big problem with people becoming too acidic and then they resort to taking antacids. But again, it, you need to get to the root cause. And the root cause is eating too much food, too many drinks that are acidic. If you're drinking cola, you're drinking coffee, you're drinking tea, you're eating chips, deep fried chips, all of this is adding to the acidity problem. And it's a big problem. So you need to eat alkaline food, which is vegan and alkaline, not acidic. When I was in my 40s, I realized that when I switched to a vegan diet, that wasn't enough. I switched to an alkaline vegan diet. And when I did that, this, it resurrected my football games. So I had a frozen shoulder, that improved. My stretching improved dramatically, and it resurrected my football career. So I could play football, and now still, like many years later, I'm still the top scorer in the team. It's becoming more and more important to become vegan. That was the realisation that I had probably about 20 years ago when I switched to an alkaline diet. I try and pick people to switch to a no wheat vegan diet. Yeah, a no sugar vegan diet. An alkaline vegan diet is free of dairy. Mr. Jasevsky discussed the myth that cow's milk is good for bones and offered tips on bettering bone health. I have not seen any evidence to support that cow's milk will build bones. And so, if anything, it's, 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 it builds up bad calcium, as I call it. It's not good. It's, pe people can't assimilate it properly. And it, obviously, it's got other issues. With, the calcium has got many issues, not just with the calcium problem. The, the key thing for bones is silica. And many plants have silica. So you've got horse tail, which is like a herb. You've got nettles. You've got hemp leaf, so every day I'm drinking hemp leaf tea. I have nettle juices, uh, anything with silica in, and you combine that with magnesium. So I put magnesium oil on my skin every day after I've had a shower. Combine that, and then vitamin D3 with the sunshine. I make sure I get a lot of sunshine. I cycle and get my skin exposed to sun every day. It's important to go out and get the sunshine. What supplements does Mr. Jasevsky recommend for optimum health? He covered the vitamin B12 and iodine requirements of vegans. If you're a vegan, then the things to be watchful for is B12. So vitamin B12. I just take a supplement just to be on the safe side. So it's a mega food. Um, it's pure. It's deactivated yeast. I take that. And then I've got B12. And if you are a vegan and you're falling B low in B12, that's not good. You need to make sure you're getting enough. According to the Vegan Society, the highly respected UK-based vegan advocacy organization founded in 1944, the only reliable vegan sources of B12 are foods fortified with B12, including some plant milks, soy products and breakfast cereals, and B12 supplements. Most vegans consume enough B12 to avoid anemia and nervous system damage, but many do not get enough to minimize the potential risk of heart disease or pregnancy complications. The Vegan Society says to maintain a healthy plant-based diet, vegans have three options. Eat fortified foods two or three times a day to get at least three micrograms of B12, or take one B12 supplement daily providing at least 10 micrograms, or take a weekly B12 supplement providing at least 2,000 micrograms. The Vegan Society also says that the optimum level of iodine for adults in the UK to consume daily is 140 micrograms. 
The organization states there is no easy way of knowing how much iodine is in plant foods. Plant foods, apart from seaweed, may contain a low amount of iodine. The amount of iodine in a plant food varies depending on how much is in the soil the plant is grown in. The thyroid will either become overactive or underactive if you don't have the right nutrition. And certainly if it's underactive, there is a possibility you haven't got enough iodine. So you definitely need to take a supplement with iodine or make sure that you eat a lot of uh, seaweed. In Japan, for example, you eat a lot of seaweed. It's not a problem. You can be vegan and eat lots of seaweed. We are grateful to John Josefsky for the helpful insights he has shared with us. Please join us next Saturday, September 26, for John Josefsky Vegan, Wellness is in our hands, part two of two. For more information on John Josefsky and the College of Living Nutrition, please visit college-living-nutrition.co.uk. Thank you, wise and peaceful viewers, for your company today for our program. Up next is the life of Lord Mahavira. Continue fasting to rescue Chandana. Part 3 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples right after Noteworthy News. May heaven grace you with an elevated spiritual life. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash hl.